How to say I love you in Vietnamese. Maybe you're going to travel to Vietnam soon. Maybe you're around Vietnamese people a lot. Maybe you have your eye on a Vietnamese speaking guy or girl. Whatever your reasons for wanting to learn may be, you can learn to say I love you in Vietnamese. Method 1 Understanding Vietnamese 1. Learn basic pronunciation. Before you attempt to say I love you in Vietnamese, take some time to familiarize yourself with basic pronunciation. This can aid you in the ability to correctly say the phrase. Vowels are key in learning to pronounce Vietnamese, particularly for the phrase I love you. There are roughly 11 vowel sounds in the Vietnamese language. One group of vowels is broken down under the letter A. The vowel A without any pronunciation marks is pronounced like far in English. With the pronunciation mark A, the vowel is pronounced like father. With the pronunciation mark A, it's pronounced like but. A second group of vowel is broken down under E. The vowel E without a pronunciation mark is pronounced as it is in red. With the pronunciation mark E, it's pronounced like the letter A in May. The vowel group O has three different pronunciations. O without a pronunciation mark is pronounced like the A in law. With the pronunciation mark O, it's pronounced like the O in spoke. With the pronunciation mark O it's pronounced like the I in sir. The U vowel group is broken down into two pronunciations. U without a pronunciation mark is pronounced like the double O in boo. With the pronunciation mark U it's pronounced like the first half of a, a. The letters I and Y are pronounced like the E in me. 2. Familiarize yourself with the complexity of saying I love you in Vietnamese. Saying I love you in Vietnamese is very different than saying it in English. There are many different ways to say I love you in Vietnamese depending on age, gender, and your relationship with that person. Before attempting to say I love you in Vietnamese, make sure you understand you cannot use one phrase for saying I love you to different people. 3. Figure out how to address yourself. Another factor that affects how to say I love you is how you address yourself. Vietnamese does not have a single version of the word I or me. How you address yourself depends on the context of the situation. How you address yourself in Vietnamese depends on how the person you're speaking to would address you. Family members address one another in accordance to region, level of formality, and whether or not you are of the same age. For others, you address people based on region and age. Method 2 Saying I Love You 1. Consider Gender and Age In English, the phrase I love you is the same regardless of the gender and age of the person saying it. In Vietnamese, there are three different gendered forms of the phrase I love you that are altered slightly based on a person's age. On you m, man to woman, m you on, woman to man, toi you band, friend to friend, general. Age plays a role in how you say I love you to a friend in Vietnamese as well. There are two different forms this phrase can take among friends of the same gender. They are on you m, if you are older, and m you on, if you are younger. However, you should be aware that women prefer to be called M rather than on, regardless of their age. 2. Practice Pronunciation Review the Vietnamese pronunciation guide. Then, take some time practicing how to say I love you. To say on you M correctly, pronounce it ah, N U M. To say, M U on correctly, pronounce as M U ah, N. To pronounce, Tuoi You Ban correctly, pronounce it as T H, Tuoi You Ban. You can find pronunciation guides online and listen to how the words are pronounced. This can help you get a sense if you're saying the phrase correctly. 3. Learn the appropriate phrase. If you don't want to say I love you there are other less intense phrases. Try I like you instead. To say I like you, you would say M tick on if you're a girl talking to a boy. If you're a boy talking to a girl, you would say on tick M.